Welcome to the July Spotlight on Insurance and Property Casualty Coverage, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Paul Wilson, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and most insightful research. This Spotlight on Insurance and PNC is sponsored by Southern Insurance Group, your senior market headquarters. For more information, please visit southerninsurance.us. The new health care reform package will affect auto insurers, but no one knows exactly how much, according to a new report by the Insurance Research Council, or IRC. The IRC report, titled Hospital Cost Shifting and Auto Injury Insurance Claims, found a link between low Medicaid and Medicare reimbursement rates and higher medical reimbursement rates paid by auto insurers. The report looked at more than 42,000 automobile bodily injury claims in 39 American jurisdictions during 2007, looking for cost shifting from medical providers to auto insurers. The study found that auto insurers were charged at least $1.2 billion in excess charges due to cost shifting for the year. According to IRC Vice President David Corum, quote, What I think we have shown, this is one of the major benefits of the study, is that the auto insurance system is not totally separate from the health care insurance system. What happens with health care, what happens with health care reform, can have a direct impact on auto insurance costs, unquote. The study added that the $1.2 billion is just the tip of the iceberg of all medical cost shifting to property casualty insurance companies, adding that if other costs and jurisdictions are examined, the overall shifting of costs from medical providers to auto insurers will likely be much larger. Private U.S. property casualty insurers saw their net income after taxes spike to positive $8.9 million during the first quarter of 2010 from negative $1.3 billion for the same period one year ago, according to ISO and the Property Casualty Insurers Association of America. Overall profitability, as measured by the annualized rate of return on average policyholders' surplus, rose to positive 6.7% for the first quarter, from negative 1.2% during the first three months of 2009. The improvements came despite declines in both premiums written and earned premiums. Net written premiums fell $1.4 billion, or 1.3%, to $105.1 billion for the quarter, from $106.5 billion for the same period in 2009. Meanwhile, net earned premiums declined $2.8 billion, or 2.7%, to $102.8 billion for the first quarter of this year, from $105.6 billion for the first quarter of 2009. The increases in net income and overall rate of return were largely fueled by the fact that insurers' net investment gains nearly tripled, climbing $8.8 billion to $12.6 billion, from $3.7 billion year over year. U.S. property casualty insurance companies have seen financial impairments more than triple since 2007, according to a recent report by AM Best Company, Incorporated. The number of financially impaired property casualty insurers climbed to 18 last year, up from 16 in 2008 and just 5 in 2007, the agency said. To be considered financially impaired, a company must have had an official action taken against it by regulators in a state in which it does business. Such actions could include anything that hinders the company's ability to conduct business normally, even when the company is not technically considered insolvent. AM Best said that there have been four impairments so far this year, but added that, quote, the full development of 2009 and 2010 impairments may not be evident for some time, unquote. The study found that the majority of last year's impairments were a result of under-reserving, underpricing, and rapid growth in the years immediately preceding impairment. Finally, Best predicts that impairments will increase as, quote, insurers absorb ongoing underwriting and investment losses, and as regulators take control of companies for which they have been unable to find buyers, unquote. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Insurance and PNC. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on ProducersWeb.com and browse by topic.